I'm Tatiana from Riding Warehouse, and today I wanted to show you how to properly apply a standing wrap. Standing wraps are really great for horses who have maybe had a hard day competing or are injured in some way, and they can also be used in the trailer to prote protect against any bumps that they might get. So the first thing you're going to need to do is um, either if you have a new set of standing wraps or standing wraps that you have around, you'll need to grab those. If you have a new set, they're actually wrapped inside out for how we need to apply them to the horse with the Velcro on the outside already. So we're gonna have to undo these and wrap them the correct way. So what you'll need to do is find the Velcro piece, um, the little hook side, and then find your loop side as well. And you're just gonna apply the hooks to the loops like they go like that. And that's gonna give you the directionality to keep rolling the wrap so that you end up with it in the right orientation. So you just keep going this way. And you wanna make sure that these are a little bit snug so that um, they're gonna be nice and smooth on your horse's leg. And you wanna make sure that the ends stay nice and square and straight so you don't end up with it kind of slipping out of your hand as you roll. And it's nice to make sure that you do these um, without getting too many wrinkles in them because it's gonna make it easier to put it on your horse without any wrinkles. So we've got that all set. These also come in a couple different sizes. You can get pony sized ones if you have a really small horse or they have nine foot or 12 foot ones. These are the nine foot ones which fit my horse pretty well. Um, I do like to use 12 foot ones if your horse is a little bit leggier type horse like a warm blood or a thoroughbred or something like that. And then the other thing you'll need is a pillow wrap. Some people like the pillows that are called Nobos. They have a little seam or a couple little seams actually that run up and down the length of the wrap. And those ones um, tend to kind of have a little bit more structure to them. These ones are great uh, as well. It's really up to your personal preference. So you'll need to wrap these up kind of just like we did with the standing wrap part. Roll them nice and snug, making sure that the ends stay even. Just like that. So to get started wrapping, one of the things you're going to need to do is make sure that your wrap is oriented against your horse's leg for the easiest way to put it on. So what I like to do is peel off a little section and the easiest way I've found to make sure I have this in the right direction is to make sure that the excess part of the roll is facing me and is not facing the horse. So we can see how I have this little section peeled off and then the rest of the roll is on my side of the wrap. This is going to make it hard for you to wrap properly and might end up with weird pressure, um, uneven pressure spots. This is gonna make it just a lot easier for everybody um, if you have it oriented this way. So then you just kind of place the padding on the horse's leg and you can get the end of the pad right in the groove between the horse's cannon bone and tendons. And you wanna make sure that you're below the horse's joint um, and not having any ex or too much excess coming down this way. And I like to hold pretty firm on the front of the horse's leg and stretch and wrap this pillow part around, making sure that I don't end up with wrinkles or uneven pressure spots. And I just wrap it around nice and snug and kind of make sure that these are staying straight and these are staying straight and then you've got that part on so I hold this steady with my one hand and then I grab this this will need to orient the same way that we did this pad so once you've peeled off a little bit you can see that I have the roll facing me and not facing the horse so all the excess wrap is on my side and not the horse's side. So then I lay this kind of across the front of the horse's leg. And depending on the length of your wrap, you're going to need to start somewhere in the middle. It might be a little bit higher up or a little bit lower down. These wraps tend to work if I start right about here. So I'm just gonna roll this around and I like to smooth this down underneath this part of the wrap. And make sure that I don't have any wrinkles or pressure points. And then you're going to pull snug across the front of the horse's leg and then just keep the pressure even down across the back of the horse's leg. And you can keep working your wrap down until you've got about a half an inch between the bottom of the padding and the bottom of the standing wrap. And that way you won't get the, the wrap slipping down and cutting off circulation. And again, pulling nice and snug across the front of the horse's leg and undoing any wrinkles that might happen. And you want these to be a little bit on the snug side. It's perfectly fine to need to do them a couple of times before you feel really confident putting them on snugly, um, but they're gonna fall off if you don't do them tight enough. 
And then what I'm watching as I'm coming up the horse's leg is making sure that the spacing between each layer of the wrap is pretty even. And that's gonna be a good way to make sure that you're not gonna hurt your horse by having the wraps unevenly spaced and having the pressure be uneven. So you can kind of see how each layer is about the same distance apart. So go ahead and just continue wrapping up the horse's leg until you hit the Velcro section. You can hold the rest of the wrap steady while you undo the Velcro, kind of undo any last wrinkles and then just secure this nice and neatly. And if you wanted another way to practice doing this type of wrap that's maybe a little bit easier, you can check out our how to wrap a polo wrap video as well. That one is great to practice with because you're not gonna be leaving it on your horse for so long. These ones you can leave on for 24 hours. So if you've done it a little bit uh, crooked or something, it might not be the best idea to leave it on for that long. If you found this YouTube video helpful, we do have a channel where we do a lot of how-to videos. So please check us out and subscribe while you're there. Thank you.